Home the Groom by Julia Donaldson. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black, a long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there came a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely and eagerly said, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there a room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes! cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forests they flew. The dog wagged his tail, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud <laughs> and they held on to her hat. But away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Down! cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. She dropped it politely and bend her head low. I am a bird as green as can be. Is there a room on the blue for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick Over the reeds and the rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow but let go her wand. cried the witch and they flew to the ground they searched for the wand but no wand could be found then out of a sudden from out of a pond leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand he dropped it politely and politely said, I am a frog as clean as can be. 
Is there a room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoa! And the mountains they flew. The frog jumped with joy. And the broomstick snapped in two. Oh. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar. <sighs> that was scary and loud. I am a dragon, as mean as can be. And which with the French fries tastes delicious to me. No! cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew near with a glint in his eyes and said, I have a witch without French fries. <laughs> But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and stinky, and red. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird, me, and with a terrible voice, no. he said, Buzz off! That's my witch! No, no, no. The dragon drew back, and he started to shake. I am sorry, he said. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat, and whew, said the dog. The grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in the dragon's mouth. Then the witch filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. The frog found a lily. The cat found a corn. The bird found a twig. And the dog found a bone. They threw them all in. And the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. 
Stick. 